Xavi Hernandez, the heartbeat in midfield for one of the greatest football sides to have graced the game. Spain's reign of supremacy may have come to an end, but what Xavi achieved during his time with the national team will live long in the memory of the talented playmaker. I feel privileged to have played in the final of the European Championship and the World Cup. I really enjoyed it. I will also remember those games, as they make me feel very proud. Success came at an early age for Xavi. He was a key part of the Spanish side that won the 1999 FIFA World Youth Championship. And a month later, the 19-year-old won his first Spanish title with Barcelona. My goal was to succeed at Barca and with the national team. I wanted to win titles with them. But success would soon be replaced by frustration. Xavi converted his penalty in the 2002 FIFA World Cup quarter-final against South Korea, but it wasn't enough to prevent elimination. We suffered during that period of three, four or five years when we didn't win anything. It was a rough time. But luckily we were able to turn things around and achieve extraordinary success. Historic wins for Barca and for the Spanish national team. Barcelona's 2006 Champions League triumph heralded a golden era for both club and country. Two years later, Xavi was named player of the tournament as a free-flowing Spain won Euro 2008. More than the success and the victory, what really captured the world of football was the way we managed to succeed. As a result, Spain headed to the 2010 FIFA World Cup as favourites, but a short defeat in their opening game against Switzerland threatened to derail their challenge for the title. Del Bosque, Fernando Hierro, como los Del Bosque, Fernando Hierro and the captains had a meeting where we said, look, if we played that game a hundred times, we'd only lose once. I watched the game and said to Vicente, look, we should have won that game, so we shouldn't change anything. I remember the group stages, the game against Honduras, and especially the match against Chile. It took a lot out of us. It was like being in the knockout stages. Any mistake and you'd be out of the World Cup. So it was more stressful than usual. But we also really enjoyed it. After the quarterfinals, I think you could see how great our team was. Xavi would play an influential role in Spain's semi-final victory over Germany. And against the Netherlands in the final, it was his Barcelona teammate Andres Iniesta that provided the killer blow as Spain won their first World Cup. A just reward for their stylish brand of football. It's something appreciated not only by those of us playing, but also by those watching football, by those really appreciating the game and enjoying our philosophy. That philosophy continued to reap rewards as Javi and his teammates retained the European Championship in 2012. By then, our rivals knew us well. They began playing differently. They sat back and defended. And we didn't have as much room as we had in 2008. But Spain played good football. Perhaps we didn't play as well as in 2008. But we did play very good football. I particularly remember games like that final, where Spain had total control and were totally superior to Italy. I think we played an exhibition of football. But you also need luck in each tournament in order to overcome the odds. I think Spain has made history. Para superar esas barreras. Creo que España ha hecho, ha hecho historia, es historia. But that luck would desert them in the opening game of the 2014 FIFA World Cup. No, a veces tienes la suerte. Sometimes you're lucky, sometimes you're not. And in that sense, Van Persie's goal changed the dynamics of the game. Salimos en la segunda We started the second half in a state of shock. And to me, the result was totally illogical. A 5-1 defeat that would weigh us down for the rest of the tournament. And we were knocked out in the group stages. The midfielder announced his retirement from international football following Spain's premature exit. But after accomplishing so much with his country, Xavi has plenty to be proud of. I've always been very determined. I believe strongly in our philosophy, our game plan. And this has served me well. And not just me, but a whole generation of footballers that have worked very hard alongside coaches and have believed in that game plan. Our national team has played beautiful, attractive football. And everyone appreciates what you've done, both at Barcelona and for the national team. And I think we've made history.